Hey, I'm Jake and today I'm not drawing anything. However, I am sharing with you some advice that I got over the weekend at a conference I attended up in Boise, Idaho. It's called Craft and Commerce and it's for creative people who run their own business. So that sounded like something that fit what I'm doing and I, on a whim I decided to go. I bought a ticket, I drove up there. What I found was I met all these incredibly talented, hardworking, industrious, smart people and I decided to ask them for advice on what you could do to be a better creative person. Alright, first up we have Sean McCabe and I first discovered his work, he was uh, doing lettering and he just had a really cool style and I started following him and he shifted his career into uh, not just lettering, but to share with creatives how to run businesses. His whole thing now is to teach people the skills that they need in order to transition from having that day job that they don't like to moving into following some sort of passion or interest and turning that into a business. Uh, so if you want to learn more about that kind of stuff, go to seanwest.com. You're going to find a, an amazing podcast that he's been doing for years, I think over 300 episodes. Uh, you're going to find all kinds of courses and classes in his community if you decide to join that. And just a lot of info on how to be more business-minded as a creative person. I finally met Sean in person for the first time at this conference and it was so great just to, to shake his hand and to tell him thank you for helping me learn how to communicate better, learn how to grow my audience better, and, uh, and just find out that he's such a cool guy in person as well. I asked Sean what kind of advice he could give the people who follow me on YouTube channel. I told him it's a lot of artists, it's a lot of creative people who are just trying to better their craft to get better and want to learn more and here's what he had to say. Hey, Sean McCabe here, uh, founder of Sean West. I just want to encourage you to show up every day for two years. It's not that two years is this magical period, but show up and create for the love of create. Just show up and create for the love of the process to enjoy what you're doing. The results will come. Show up every day for two years and don't even expect any results during that time. The results will come later. You don't, you don't start with motivation. Motivation isn't a source. It's not a source of energy. It's a result of doing. And the more you create, the more you're going to be motivated to create. And so rather than trying to think through and overthink this before you make, before you find your style, just start creating. That stuff is going to come. Motivation will come after you start. Finding your style will come as a result of putting out a volume of work. If you're a perfectionist like me, you tend to kind of hold things back because you think it's not good enough, but I would just encourage you that you're not the judge of whether your work is good enough. Let other people be the judge. Put out more work. More people would love to see more work from you that's maybe slightly less than perfect. So just give yourself some grace, put your work out there, let other people be the judge. All right, next up is Charlie Pringley from charliemarie.com. She's a London-based designer. She's incredibly cool and she's kind. And after her speech, I asked her if she wouldn't mind just sparing a couple minutes to talk to talk to you guys about uh, what kind of advice she has for uh, artists who are up and coming who are trying to grow their audience and here's what she had to say. Hi I'm Charlie, I'm a designer with the YouTube channel where I talk a lot about design and my message to you is that when it comes to your art it takes time to get people to care about it and it also takes time for you to grow and learn and so I don't want you to rush, I want you to practice, put, it, put in the work, show up every day and just create and trust that over time you're going to build this audience, you're going to build your, the fans of your art, you're going to sell things if you want to and you're going to improve as well. So put in the work and show up and be okay with slow steady growth. Alright this is Bob Claggett and he also spoke at the conference and he gave a great talk and I felt like we were kindred spirits and afterwards I, I came up to him and I said you know I really loved what you said, you've got to You've got to say something to my audience. I asked him and he graciously accepted. Uh, just to tell you a little bit about, about Bob, he has a, a YouTube channel with 1.8 million subscribers. He's grown that just by sharing with people his passion for making stuff. He quit his job several years ago because he was just interested in how to build things and how to make things and he started sharing that interest with other people. You can go to his website called appropriately enough, I like to make stuff.com. And uh, I asked him 
what he had to, uh, what kind of advice he had to give you, and here's what he had to say. All right, so a lot of people will tell you that you need to be the best at something. You have to be the, you know, a standout in your field, and that limits you to being one thing really, really good. But I want to encourage you that you are made of multiple things, and that's okay. And you can enjoy a bunch of different things at the same time, and try to grow a bunch of different skills. And they all have value, and they're all useful, and you can be known for more than one thing. That's totally fine, so go make some awesome stuff. All right, next up is Levi Allen. He's an adventure filmmaker, so he makes like adventure films for outdoor brands, uh, but he's got an incredible YouTube channel and such a personable nature about him. And I'm, I've known his work for a couple of years now, but it was really cool to meet him in person. He's one of the kindest individuals, happy to share knowledge, happy to share individual. And I think one of the things that I admire most about him is just his work ethic. Uh, if he's not doing client work, he's also doing you know a personal project. And if he's not doing that, he's doing some sort of something to, for his own like self-improvement. So I asked him if he could distill everything that he's about what kind of, what is it, and, and what advice would he give to you as a creative person who's trying to grow, improve, and master your craft? And here's what he had to say. As creatives and people that make stuff, it's honestly really easy to become obsessed with getting better at what it is we care about. So spending hours researching new tactics and practicing our skills usually, usually comes pretty easy and naturally. So one of the things that I've found to be important for me is actually make, make sure that I'm challenging other aspects of my life. So. Lately for me, I've been on this fitness thing where I'm trying to make sure that I'm actually challenging my whole being because the creative journey is kind of an up and down thing. And when it's down, I need other areas that I can be having wins so that way it kind of balances out my whole life. And I feel like I've got some structure in this chaotic life that I live. So for me, I would say just go out and challenge all aspects of who you are because it makes the whole journey a lot more fun. Lastly, we have Prince McClinton and he runs the Instagram account Art of Visuals which has 1.3 million followers and it's all images and photography and just inspiring stuff from artists around the world. He's got an incredible community. Uh, they make books from the photographs, they, they do art shows and uh, just recently had an art show in New York and he came back to Boise to, to speak at the conference and did this incredible Q&A, uh, just talking about creativity and how to grow as an artist and what you need to do to, to get better and, and to improve your, and master your craft. And so I, I pulled him aside and I asked him if you wouldn't mind just sharing a, a piece of wisdom for you as well. And here's what he had to say. What's up, Jake Parker Squad? My name is Prince, founder of Art of Visuals. Big shout out to all the illustrators and the creators around the world. Remember one thing, you gotta fall in love with the process, not the destination, because it's a really tough world for us creators out there, and we just have to fall in love with the day-to-day -day process of creating. Wake up and just create something every day. You'll look back one year, two years from now, and your work will be mind-blowing. It's all about growth, the iterations. Just like I said, every single day, just create something. Wake up, get after it. Stay joyful, stay passionate, Stay honest and it's all love. Stay inspired. Be visually inspired. Peace. All right, I just want to thank Sean, Charlie, Bob, Levi, and Prince uh, for giving me a little bit of their time to give you some advice. I just want to go through that advice really quick. Sean said to show up every day. Charlie said that it's just going to take some time and don't worry if it's taking too long. Trust that you're gonna grow over time and let that time happen. Bob said it's okay to have a broad focus. Uh, we're made up of many different parts, so uh, why not embrace that and grow in many different areas? I like what Levi said too. He said don't neglect the rest of your life for your creativity. Learn how to be a multi-dimensional pe person and don't just focus on your craft all the time. And lastly, with Prince, I, I just love what he said. It's about the journey, not the destination. And as someone who has reached destinations in my life that I thought were, were going to be awesome and amazing, I realized that um, every time I reach a destination, it doesn't seem as big as I thought it was going to be. And really, if you don't enjoy the process, you're not going to enjoy your life because your life is just process day after day. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Uh, I'm so glad to be making videos again, and I will see you next video. Bye.